Hey all, welcome to Programming Knowledge. Hope you are all doing good. So today we are going to see the tutorial for which is scroll view. So let's get started. So scroll view. Scroll view provides a scrollable view. We can scroll through x axis as well as y axis on the screen. It's like you have your own application in your mobile phone or windows where you want to scroll the screen to view the next items which are available on the screen. I would like to provide an example how it looks like. Here we go. This is a scroll view where you can scroll up or scroll down. As you can see, you can scroll down and scroll up, which is an example of it. So let's now see how the code is done for the scroll view. First of all, we'll import a new function called Run touch app, which is available in class Kiwi library. When we are importing the run touch app, it enables the scroll view touch. The code for that is from kiwi.base import run touch app. Then we'll import a builder where we define values, values such as the text and then its size, height, and the scroll view, x axis value, y axis value. All the stuff so we are we are going to define in the builder. For using that, we are going to import builder from kiwi.lang, which is another class library file. So let's see the overall code, how it works. So as I said, we are going to first import run touch app, which will Enable the scroll view on the screen. We are going to take that from kiwi.base and then we are going to import the builder which is available in kiwi.lang, which is again a class library file. After that, the second step we are going to look out is we are going to create a root variable in which we are going to use the builder and open the scroll view by writing scroll view and then we are going to create a label in which we are going to store the text which is scroll view example it will be displayed on the screen and i have provided in 200 which means scroll view example of 100 text will be displayed on the screen i'm doing this just to make sure that when i'm going to scroll the screen all i can see is the text available as scroll view example next we are going to define the font size of the text which is i have given 30 then i'm going to define the size underscore hint underscore equals to 1.0 which is the x axis of the screen and then size underscore hint underscore i i have mentioned is a it has none next i'm going to define the text underscore size value which i am defining self dot width and followed by i provided the other value as none then I am going to define the height which is self dot texture underscore size of 1. After defining all the text in the label which is available in the scroll view, uh, which I'm, I have kept it under the variable root, I am going to close the bracket which I have opened in builder dot load underscore string. After doing that, I am going to run the touch app by defining run touch app and in the parenthesis i am going to give the variable root so this is how the coding is done once i am running the code what will happen it will come over here the root variable and it will come into the scroll view and it will create a text which is scroll view example into 100 and it will have a font size of 30 followed by size underscore hint underscore x which is 1.0 and text size with a self dot width let's now go ahead and run the program first i'll import from kiwi dot base import run touch app it's gonna enable the scroll view as mentioned before so from kiwi.lang, I'm going to import builder. 
So we have imported the Tanta chap and the builder. Now we are going to use that builder inside the variable root where we are going to define the text. It's font size, font size, the uh, x, y value axis followed by text size and the height. Now we have created the root variable and we are going to define first we will take the builder followed by dot load underscore string and by opening the bracket i'm going to draw an r and three codes now what i'm going to do i'm going to open the scroll view and provide the colon followed by i'm going to create a label in which I'm going to define the text, let's say, as scroll view example. And I'm going to multiply this with 100 as I'm going to make sure that scroll view example is filled all over the screen. When I'm rolling down the screen, scroll view example should be there. It's just an example program. So now we are going to define the font size as font underscore size and the value would be 30 and I'm going to provide the x axis value by providing size underscore hint underscore x as 1.0. Similarly for y, I'm going to give this as Let's say, um, let's say none. Right for now, I'm uh, taking this as none. Okay, let's make some additions. One point. Okay, so here we go. We have defined the x value, y value. What is it remaining? The text size, which is text underscore size. And it should be self underscore self dot width. Comma, the other value I'm giving it as none. And last but not the least is the height. For defining the height, I'm going to use self dot texture. underscore size of one here we go so finally we have defined everything now i'm going to end the method by giving the quotes here we go we have defined the height x size x value and y value axis then font size and the scroll view text. Now let's run the program by calling the run to chat and passing on the root variable which we have defined. Here we go. I found the program. Okay, here we go. We got the output. As you can see, I have defined scroll text view scroll view example into 100 so or like the 100 text are visible right now with an example scroll view so as you can see i can scroll down by just moving the mouse scroll up and scroll down this is how we are we have got the output of scroll view example now let's go back and discuss the program how this output came. There we go. As you can see, what we did first, we imported the runter chap and the builder. So, runter chap will enable the scroll view, and builder is used to store all the stuffs which I have defined. Now, once I have imported the runter chap and builder, we created the root variable. And by and we have taken the builder 
and dot load underscore string and we have created the scroll view followed by label in the label we have defined the text font size font size underscore hint underscore x and size underscore hint underscore y which is the x and y axis and then we have defined the text size and the height so we define all the properties of the text and the screen size under the label which is coming under the scroll view and at the end we close the bracket with the three codes and we run the program by calling the run touch app and in the parentheses we pass the argument the root which is a variable and then followed by running the program we get the output of the scroll view example so that's it for today hope the session was clear we'll see in the coming lectures other views and labels all the stuffs other the, like uh, the stuffs which are available in library thank you for joining with programming knowledge have a good day guys